Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. So glad to come your way again with another wonderful prophetic word. Family, I'm back with God's word for you today in Jesus' name. If you happen to be seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I'm the man that God uses. Welcome in Jesus' name. To all of you that are members of this platform, thank you so much for being a part of what God is doing here. I have a word of encouragement for somebody here and it's going to light you up greatly. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the Lord says I should tell someone that he is with you. He is with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible tells us on several um, 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 occasions that we are at war in this world and we are wrestling not against you know, flesh and blood. Our enemies are not human beings. Our enemies are principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, uh, um, 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 in high places, people and um, spirits that are not happy about the fact that you are the beloved of God, who are not happy about the fact that you are the apple of God's eye. They want to fight you and attack you. They want to, you know, plunge you into depression and plunge you into sickness. They want you to use your own self, your own hands and destroy yourself. And, and God it has equipped us through the mighty word of God on, on and he has taught us what we must do to overcome that enemy once and for all, he has taught to us that there's power in the spoken word. I don't know who needs to hear this. I was listening to um, a, a teacher of the word of God teach and he said, you cannot overcome thoughts with thoughts. When the devil comes at you with negative thoughts, the devil comes at you with depressed, with depressive thoughts, the devil comes at you with all kinds of attack in your mind, you cannot think your way out of those thoughts. You know what you do? The Bible says you will cast it down. You will cast out imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. How? You will speak what God has said to you. You will speak what the Lord has said over your life. You will declare what you want to see happen over your own, um, um, your own life. And you will watch and see how your life takes the route of your words. The Bible says that a man's belly will be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. So you are not permitted to get anything you have not spoken out. I want you to speak out to yourself right now that God is with me. And you know who God is? He's the monarch of the universe. He's the owner of this place. He controls everything that is in this sphere, both spiritual and, and, and physical. You know, the Bible says, Jesus Christ said a very bold statement when he resurrected from the dead. He says, all powers in heaven and on earth has been given to me. And then he says another strange one. He says, I give that authority to you. I give that power to you. So the greater one lives in you. The Bible says in 1 John, rejoice little children for you have overcome them. He says, for greater is he that is in you, not on you, not beside you. He doesn't take a vacation. He stays in you. There's somebody that needs to hear this prophetic word. God is saying that he stays in the inside of you. The greater one is not around you. He stays in the inside of you. So I want you to stand up right now and say it to yourself. The greater one is in the inside of me. And there's nothing the devil can do about it. I release the blessing of God upon you. I pray that God is going to shine his light on that dark part of your life. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you will emerge a victor in every battle that you are currently engaged in. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to read from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. And I want to join you in prayers if you have a need. And until I come your way again, the Lord bless you, keep you, cause His face to shine on you and be gracious to you in Jesus' name. Do you receive this word with gladness? Shalom.